Now I have packed up my things and ready to leave Hua Hin and leave Thailand. Every time it's the same when you first come to a new place. You really get nervous and uh, the first day you really want to just leave because you don't know anything. The first day I was here, I could not find a place to eat. I was a little panic. I had to walk all the way down to the train station uh, to have my dinner, the same place I had lunch. But just take your time, cool down. After a couple of days, things are going to change. Of course, this time Hua Hin is mostly thanks to the young lady I met on the train. And she had a motorbike and she showed me around. I really started to like this little city. And Hua Hin is much bigger than I originally thought. Uh, I'm really afraid if I'm going to stay here longer. I don't want to move. <laughs> I want to stay. Okay, I want to live here. So this is dangerous. So that's why I decided after one week, seven days, I'm in Hua Hin, I want to leave. And I did not say goodbye to this young lady because I have never been good at saying goodbyes. So not yet. yesterday we had dinner together and she asked me how long I can stay. I only said, oh, I'm not sure, but I will let you know. Anyway, I just escape today and just get away. And then I will text her when I'm in Bangkok. Just say thank you very, very much because the longer, you know, people been together, they start to have some feelings. She is a, a very pretty, charming young lady and very good-hearted. So I don't want to hang any longer with her. Just avoid the complication. Okay. Thank you, Hua Hin. Thank you, the young lady from the temple I met on the train. Thank you everything. I enjoyed myself very much here in Hua Hin and I'm sure I'm going to come back. Now I'm just walking my way to the train station. And after one week, I have been here in Hua Hin. <laughs> Hua Hin. Hua Hin. <laughs> I feel that I know this little town very well. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned before in my videos, I don't have a plan for my traveling, but I do have short plans. So I actually planned to travel from Hua Hin to Haitie, which is a, the little town at the border of Malaysia. So I thought I could cross the border and go to Kuala Lumpur by train. So that was originally planned, but it turned out to be that there's no bed available. It's an overnight train. It's an overnight train. It takes 13 hours, uh, no bed. Okay, if I sit overnight for 13 hours, I think it will be too tired. Okay, and uh, stay in Haiti for a couple of days, then take a train again to Kuala Lumpur. Will you know take a two, three, four days for from here to Kuala Lumpur? Of course, it's all for fun, but to sit overnight for 13 hours is a little too much for old men like me. So. I say this again, cheap is not the priority, okay? Cheap have to be comparatively comfortable. <laughs> That's why now I take the train back to Bangkok and uh, stay in Bangkok for one more day. Another reason I want to go back to Bangkok is because I got someone contacting me from the internet. And he's some place violin. So they would so much like to meet me and this man offered to show me around maybe the Chinatown Chinatown night market or something okay so that gave me another very good excuse to go back to Bangkok so tomorrow I will meet this man and he will show me around and I'm looking forward to meeting uh, his son and listen to how his son playing the violin okay now I'm heading to the train station We'll be there 
uh, in about less than five minutes I will be at the train station hello two o'clock train to Bangkok Two o'clock. Forty-four. Forty-four. I want cheaper, not chain. Huh? I need cheaper. Forty-four baht. I, I don't have. I not chain. Then you come back about one o'clock, not now. Okay. Uh, uh, two o'clock to Bangkok. One o'clock by ticket. One one o'clock by ticket. Okay, thank you. Here I'm again at the Hua Hin, Hua Hin <laughs> train station. And uh, the cheap train from Bangkok to here is 9.20 in the morning. And uh, the cheap train from Hoa Hin to Bangkok is at afternoon, 2.10, 2 o'clock, okay? Uh, 44 baht, again, 44 baht. It's uh, $1.30, okay? And we arrive at Bangkok 7 o'clock in the evening. And one dollar thirty cents is all what you pay because at Hua Hin uh, there is no need for any transportation you can just walk to the beach and walk to your guest house and at the Bangkok the bus are free so as soon as I got off the train station I will take 53 bus which is free bus going to Khao San Road and this is my Bruce Lee shoes survived and Sri Lanka trip and all one month here in Thailand trip still uh, in a good condition you know uh, incredible less than ten dollars so strong and uh, it's very comfortable very soft you know I really recommend uh, travelers to have these shoes Bruce Lee shoes cotton shoes okay if you don't know where to get it I can get it for you <laughs> wow.
next time I might get off of here just to spend some time. It is already uh, 6.30, we're still not uh, arrived yet. And uh, from Bangkok to Ho Chi Minh is 4 hours, from back take 5 hours. So it will take another half an hour, 7 o'clock we we'll arrive at Bangkok. Wa Lam Bong, Wa Lam Bong. Seven twenty-five. Total over five hours. Very tired. And the last, really like a bus. Every ten minutes they stop. This just uh, take too much time. Okay. Anyway, I'm now in Bangkok. Okay. I just uh, get information. Uh, how to get uh, 14 cents from uh, Khao San Road to the airport. So I will do that. And I just had my dinner. Now I take the free bus 53 going to Khao San Road. Let's call it a day. Bye bye.